In order to simplify the method of CO attainment, the Department of EC CBID has come up with a lot of uh, this Excel templates, which can be used for automatically calculating the CO attainments. Okay, because there can be a problem uh, that no one, every, all, it's not compulsory that all the faculties might be. Uh, very good at Excel, or there might be some problem that the formulas whatever are entered might not be trusted. So we have we have a solution, a centralized solution, where everything is uh, formulated and uh, it's made automatic and it is tested. And for all the different kind of bugs, and uh, ultimately we are ready with this particular sheet. So in this sheet, you are provided with the provision of entering all the details. And here all the attainment levels, what you're fixing and the threshold marks, what you're fixing, these are changeable. You can modify them. I can change it to 40 or something. Like that. So this is the template. Let us try to do the same analysis using this particular template. So we are using threshold percent as 40%. So this, uh, is the, uh, you have sheets for all the different types of assessment, but in our free video, we are seeing about mid one assessment. So in the mid one assessment, you're provided with two tables here, one table on the right hand side, where you're supposed to enter the marks of the student in question wise marks and select as you so let us just copy paste the marks whatever you got here okay the, from the previous sheet so I'll just take those marks enter them here in the template okay so these marks are pasted wrongly. There are three columns provided for each question, but we had only two choices, or uh, that means two sub questions within a question. So let me paste it appropriately. So they don't belong here. So delete it. So there. the only thing is we have not written roll numbers. The provision here is to enter the roll numbers. You have to go to assignment one, and here only you can enter the roll numbers. So let me just paste the roll numbers again. I'll copy it from my previous sheet. And let me enter that here in the sheet. Yeah. Once these numbers are entered, okay, so you can go back to your mid one analysis. You can see roll numbers are entered and you have these uh, question wise marks entered. But we need to also enter the maximum marks for the question. So we know question number one, two, three, maximum marks for two. Here it was four and three. Here it was four and three and there was no sixth question in our paper. You can see uh, the COs also were different. So we had CO3 here, then we had CO2 for the question, and then we have CO2, CO2, CO3, and CO3. A provision is provided on the top. You can actually drag and select. A drop down is provided. You can drop down it and select it. Once you are done with that, you will not only get the total marks on the right hand side, but also the question wise marks are automatically calculated on the left hand side table. This table for, is not editable because in order to prevent someone from modifying the formulas which are already written there. So therefore automatically it calculates the CO wise marks for each student and based on whatever threshold marks is set, if you can just drag up, you can see there is a table provided here which automatically does the analysis. Total students are 20. Okay, so out of 20 threshold marks are pointed. How many students above pointed is 18. If you can remember, it is similar to the previous sheet. So above, so it is here 90% S value, 85% and 100. All of them are above 75. So you get attainment and all the values are three. You have the graph here. So just by entering the marks, you get this particular thing. This template, you can find it in the download section of this particular video. I hope you will find this easy. It will not only have the mid one analysis, but all the analysis provision for all the analysis for it. Thank you. Let us see the other video.